Hey y'all, hey, it's me and Renee. Today is Friday and I'm going on a dinner date with my boyfriend. So we on our way to a restaurant. We wanted to go to this restaurant, it's called Black Swan. It's a newer restaurant, but apparently that's the most happening spot right now, I guess, where I live at. I'm going to on while I'm talking to y'all. So the they was full for reservations. I think the next reservation time they had was at nine o'clock and we didn't want to go that late. We wanted to go a little early, like six or seven, but the place we going to now our reservations at eight. So that's a little earlier. And I'm excited to be out and about in the community. <laughs> we did go to Austin, Texas, but that was our first time re really going out, out. So this is our first, our first time going out where we live at, the city we live in. Cause we've been really, really careful and cautious with this corona. So we have been going to restaurants, but we would do, um, it was like to go, we would call, pick up our order and eat it at home. So this is our first time really eating indoors. But I'm gonna go ahead and put my lippy on. And I'll talk to y'all when we get to the restaurant. Whatever. That's my little outfit. I'll show y'all a picture. See how this side look full right here? And right here is like a whole, like a patch of hair is missing right here. Oh. I'm not going to dwell on that. We're going to have us a good night and eat some good food. Me and my babe. Crazy angle. I don't know. I'm not in my car right now, so it's got to make do with what I have. But I wanted to talk to y'all while I throw my eyebrow on real quick. I think the last time I sat and talked to y'all was our date night. But let me tell y'all how that went. We ain't going nowhere pretty much. We did go, but we didn't stay. So the area that we went to is predominantly white area. So we get to the area, park the car, and walk into the restaurant. And I'm like, is it just me? But I asked my boyfriend when we got back in the car, I'm like, was everybody just staring at us? You know how people just stare so hard that you, like one person was just staring so hard walking past us. I was like, hello. Like, you know, you might as well speak if you're going to be staring at me that hard. Like, what, what are you looking at? So I'm like, I'm gonna act like they never seen black people before. Or did we look like so nice that they were staring at us because of that? Like, what was the reason why y'all was staring so hard? It was like, Almost everybody was staring at us like that. Cool, I don't care. We going to the restaurant. We get to the restaurant. I didn't get a welcome vibe, put it like that. The receptionist, it was three like three young white girls at the receptionist area. And they were just staring again. So they just staring. Like, hello, like the fuck? Table ready. So we go to the table. It was supposed to be an intimate setting. That's my my boyfriend read online. Supposed to be quiet, intimate. Girl, it sounded like a sports ball. Everybody was so loud. I had to like scream across the table to even talk to him. It was just, it was really loud. I'm like, okay, you know what? We here, so let's see. So we get the menu. If you don't know, um, I don't eat beef or pork. So they only had chicken. I didn't want no chicken because I eat chicken all the time myself. I like to get seafood when I go out. The only seafood meal they had was scallops. The scallop meal didn't sound good. I forgot what was mixed with the scallops, but I didn't like it. So I'm like, you know what, babe? I'm not feeling it. Let's go. He's like, you sure? I'm like, yeah, let's go. I'm not feeling it, so I'm not going to sit here and pretend like I, I'm having a good time and I'm not. So we left and it was late. Well, not late, but it was like nine o'clock. So we was trying to find somewhere else to go in that area, but you had to have reservations for most of the places. I was like, let's just go home. Let's just go home. He's like, no, let's go find somewhere else. I really want to take you out. You know, I want to spend some money on you. I want you to have a good time. So I said, listen, babe, I'm not one of the people that, oh, let me spend all your money tonight right now. No, we could go out another time. It's not that serious. Apparently, it ain't meant for us to be outside right now, or whatever the case may be. I'm cool. We could go out another time. So, that's what we did. We wound up getting some curry out, some Chinese food, and going out. Now, that brings it to right now, today, that we're going to get some crabs. He was like, well, since we ain't gone, you want to grab some crabs? Yes, of course. So, you ordered the crabs. I'm about to go pick it up. Yeah, I'm not going to sit there and give y'all my money if, or give y'all his money, if I don't feel welcome and comfortable. Like, so I had my hair out in a big afro or whatever so i know a lot of white people they like when my hair's out like that i don't know i guess they just love our textured hair so i don't know if they was just staring at my dad going head was out. i don't freaking know but girl don't play with me i'm not a circus egg don't be staring at my face like that that's so annoying that's so rude don't don't stir i'm gonna pick up my niece because she's coming over to eat crabs with us and that's about it i'm always seemingly ready to go hey 
I'm going to show y'all what we got from the market today. So, it's a lot of items. So, bear with me. We went to Aldi's Giant and Costco. So, the only thing we got from Costco's was this lemon pepper sauce. Some wild caught Chilean sea bass. $20. So, we usually get the big shrimp from Costco's. If you ever see any of my Costco hauls or grocery hauls. But girl, why the big money we used to get was like $37, it was $50. So seafood really has gone up. I heard they were going up. So this little one was $30. And that's all we got from Costco's. I was like, you know what? I see Costco later. I see Costco's another time when the prices go back to like they used to be. Alright, so. Oh, and this. I'm sorry, his last thing from Costco's. His mozzarella sticks. Just the rest of the stuff is from Aldi's and Giant. So I've seen these cookies around. I wanted to try these because they're gluten-free, more so dairy-free, but gluten-free, dairy-free, plant-based, and peanut, tree nut free. So this is a chocolate chunk. Give it a try, and they were on sale for Giant Buy 2 for $7. I only got one because I don't know how they taste. Some chicken breasts, some popsicles, freeze-top eggs, and then we wound up getting another shrimp from... Aldi. It's a colossal shrimp. We got red onions, regular onions, white onions, spinach, salted butter, unsalted butter, Starbucks K coffee cups, waffles, ketchup, taco sauce, and <laughs> we were in Texas. The beans were pretty good, so I wanted to try my own here. So this is some Tex-Mex style. Beans, this is red beans and spicy tomato sauce with your potle pepper. So I'm gonna try that. Bananas, my yogurts, all I got was just the vanilla flavor of the silk yogurt. Cheese, my dairy free Starbucks caramel macchiata creamer, unsweetened Starbucks coffee, some chipotle. So he got this pizza, some French bread. Pepperoni pizza. I got this. Amy's roasted vegetable pizza. No cheese. I had this before and it tastes really, really good. And dairy free. I have put my dairy free cheese on it before. I had it like that and I had tasted it without any cheese at all. I think I like it kind of better with no cheese. It tastes really, really good. So if you're looking for a dairy free or a cheeseless pizza, try Amy's. This is really, really, really good. And I saw these, some chicken pie stickers, a little appetizer. Right, it's my blueberries and his fully cooked bacon. He likes to pop that in the microwave in the morning to eat with his breakfast sandwiches. Pancake mix, some light blue agave. So I got that agave because they were out of honey at Aldi's one day. And I actually, I had a like before, but I can't remember how I liked it or not. So I never really got it again. But I really, really like it. So I've been getting this instead of honey. A little bit goes a long way. It's really liquidy, so it's not like it's not the same consistency as honey. So just be careful when you're pouring it. Some vinegar. So I use my vinegar to clean my vegetables and my meat, like chicken and stuff. Oh, uh, my camera get ready cut off. All right, let me hurry up. Some drinks for him. His Gatorade drinks. Uh, soda. For me, I love vanilla cream sodas. My favorite flavor: sweet and spicy habanero wing sauce. I put this on everything. Wings fish, salmon, all of that. Breakfast bars, blueberry, and cranberry, orange. You got regular orange juice. We got the mango orange juice. Some more Sunday syrup sauce for my lattes. Some seasonings, Old Bay and Kevin steak seasoning. Got my water. I really like this. It gives me like a soda feel, but it's not a soda. Two yellow Spanish style rice. And we got two of the Tropicana Caribbean Sunset soda. I got two of the water. So they are peach flavor. So I think the rest of this, oh, and the soft shell tortillas. The rest of this stuff, I think, from like a dollar store, I think. But his little snacks, his little donuts, some plates, some toothpicks to put in our lunch bags for work, cups, game, dish detergent, toilet stuff cleaning products, liquid hand soap, and then I got two angle brushes. I like to do my eyebrows in my car when I'm on my way to work, so I just pop them in the car and keep them there, and that is it.
Sorry if I sped it up towards the end because my camera is getting ready to die. The battery. So this is everything we got from the store today. So I'm going to show y'all a clip of my little lights that I have outside. Remember the lights? That video is out now. The little UV ray lights that I wanted to put outside my walkway. So why I came home the other day when I was broke, just laid in the grass. So you see it just laying in the grass, just trifling itself. There's no reason for that to be broke because nobody should be walking right there. Can't even stuff it back in the grass because... Because the little spiky part is broke. It was only 97 cents, but then how you gonna break my stuff? I think it was the mailman because he walked through my grass so you get to the next house, which I don't care about walking through my grass. But dang, watch when you walking with your big foot. You gonna stomp the dang one thing and break it. So now I need to go back and get about three more. I can't believe he did that. Who would do that and just leave it there? Like, you could at least took it and try to hide it and throw it away. But you just let it sit there like I wasn't going to see that it was broke. But anyway, I just broke my dang on car. Well, I guess it's called a tripod. So, all right, y'all, I'm just going to see y'all at the last spot because I don't want to be late. Because knowing me, I have a bad sense of direction. Even if Google telling me where to go, I wind up still going the opposite way. I know, I'm crazy. So, this is me with no lashes. Oh, and then the last lady I went to, she done when I took off the false lashes, all my lashes came off. I said, I feel like a plucked chicken. Hey y'all, to make a long story short, I went to get my lashes done, and the lady was so nice. This is my first time seeing her. This is someone that my co-worker recommend, and she was being honest with me. She said, you know, she could take my money if I want her to, but my eyelashes, they are so sparse and thin from when they came out from the last person I went to, that it's not gonna look the way I want it to look. I showed her a picture. I showed y'all the picture too, but um. So I was like, okay, she wanted me to come back in two weeks. Did she recommend for me to just put Jamaican black castor oil on my, this is, can y'all see? That's what I want. Something like, is this showing? Don't focus on me, focus on the picture. To focus on, I want him like that. And she was like, yeah, no, it's not going to be as full as I want it to be because my eyelashes are, are so thin and sparse. So we just booked an appointment for two weeks and we'll see how that goes. She told me not to wear any mask or anything. So I appreciate her honesty because some people don't give a dig. They don't care. They just want your money. So I appreciate her for keeping it real. I was thinking about stopping and past the mall, but I don't feel like that. I decided to go ahead to the mall. Um... Coach has really been stepping up their game, so I'm gonna stop and coach to see what they have. If I still haven't brought myself anything for my birthday, so I'm gonna go to Coach and Nordstrom's and see because I really want a, a purse. So let's go see. Hey, we got a good thing. Don't know if I'm gonna see you again, but is that a good thing? This girl, I like, can't be your man. No man. I like this bag. I don't know how often I would wear it, but. Like is it the real thing, or is it just a one night stand? Well then, let me see you get. Is this the only color you have in this type of bag? So that's a tiny pretty much everything in that world is a tiny. Okay. Um, that's just the only one that's on sale. Oh, because the color probably. Yeah. Okay. This is pretty. Won't you drop that thing down to the flow? I'm here for one night, half up, where you go? I wanna see you.
Yes, I'm old, but they just still selling really cute. So. I should never find nothing I want. Man, I took the Louis Vuitton store away from me. Yep. Oh my gosh. Be cool with your outfit. <laughs> Yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> like, is it the real thing? Or is it just the one night stand? Well, then, let me see you get high. Yeah, oh, you know, I'm gonna look at This one is 22. Oh. Hello, I care what you drop that thing down to the flow. I'm here for one night, half up. Uh, one thing about music when it hits you feel no pain And I swear I got this shit that make these bitches 